This is the end of a gearbox off an old Oakland car, and it, as a job to cast, it has some huh, sort of problems, you might say. Uh, there are a few tricks we have to pull to actually be able to cast this. First, we'll just put a little bit of pattern, a little bit of part around the pattern. Then what we're going to do is temporarily fill in the middle bit here, just quickly and roughly. Nothing fancy here. Right, get rid of that. Turn that upside down. And tap it a little bit with a soft hammer just to loosen that central sand. Okay. Now, uh, a bit more part perhaps. Sweep the bulk of it off the pattern. Now we can start to make the first mould part. What will in fact be the, the drag or bottom half of the mould. Looks about the right spot to me. Lots of nice tracing sand to start with. Try and bury the thing so that it, it comes up looking nice all over. That's not too bad. Lots of sieved backing sand. Careful here, I don't actually want to sit, hit the pattern with the ramming tool. It's only a fairly frail wooden pattern. That's probably about as close as I dare go at the moment. But this time, because there's a bit more sand there above the pattern, I can in fact ram all over it. Gently wrap this pattern a little bit. With a bit of luck, that bit in the middle will, which was pretty loose anyway, come even looser. And then when I tip the box upside down like this, it'll fall out. And there we go. The majority of the doubt is a little bit there, still stuck. Pity. <laughs> Didn't quite have enough part on that, I don't think. Now, the lump of sand that forms the inside here is of course going to hang down in the eventual mould and there's a pretty good chance it'll break off around this level unless I reinforce it. So I'm using something akin to a cotton reel, just made out of a bit of aluminium bar. We sit that in the middle like this as a reinforcing peg. Timing agent. Sweep it off the pattern. <laughs> Naughty little cotton reel. Wants to fall over. Back to the Top box, two risers, feeders I should really call them, they are feeders, I don't know why I call them risers, they're meant to be called feeders, and or sprue. Placing sand.
probably enough. Now that's a fairly deep pocket there and we've got to devote some special attention to ramming that. So we'll just put a little sand there for the moment. And we'll come around with the smaller end of this rammer and just prod it in. Not too tight. If it gets too tight. <clears throat> a little bit tighter around the cotton reel itself. Right. More of the sieve back up sand. Ramming deep pockets like that's a bit of an art form. You ram them too tight and they'll break off every time. You ram them not tight enough and they're so weak that the sand will fall away as soon as you look at it. A little more than that, I think. Barrel's getting a bit empty. <laughs> right, sand will screw up. Here we go. This is a pretty easy, straightforward ram. I've just got to remember where that cotton reel is because I don't really want to smack the top of that too much. It's just down there, so I'm around it. That's pretty good. Turn them up around the screw and the risers. Cut the new pouring basin. A little bit deeper there, maybe. Now, radius it up there, down to the sprue, get a good radius on that. A little bit of a radius on that side, but that's not as important. Right. And just, uh, just around the top edge. Uh, one nifty little pouring basin cut. Now, this is some vents down here because it's a deep pocket. This is very fine sand. It looks like somewhere to help the steam come out. This is not to get the air out of the mould at all, it's to get the steam out of the sand where it gets a bit hotter. Right, that should do it. Don't need much for that. Not at all. Loosen it. Right, the sand in the box again. Put it on and let's see if we can get this off without damaging the mould too much. Too bad, a little bit of edge loss, but not too bad really. 
Now, I'll cut the runner in, uh, uh, in this box. No. Do it all right. And while this pattern is still here, I'll cut the actual guts themselves. Now we have to get this one off, and it's unfortunately a blind lift. Whilst I can see this edge here, I can't see the edges further down inside here, and it makes for a very, very awkward lift. First of all, let's see if we can get the thing loose a bit. If I didn't have that cotton reel bit of reinforcing in there, uh, it would have probably already broken that piece of sand off. Now I need some guidance to help me lift it off, so I'll just put these pieces of steel down here, and they up, give me a little bit of a guide when I lift it. Right, now let's see if we can get it. coming up and all I've got to do is keep it in between the pieces of seal nicely and there we go and I delicately remove the pieces of seal put a bit of tart on that and a little bit of a smooth up here Now let's go for a trial fit. Yep, doesn't look too bad to me. Just now it's breathing a bit in between the end. That's fine. the final close. Another one done.